I'm sympathetic towards obedience because they are going through a lot, Daddy Freeze. Popular Nigerian broadcaster Daddy Freeze has taken to his various social media platforms to claim that the supporters of Peter Obi are passing through a lot as a result of the outcome of the last presidential election. Speaking during a live session, Daddy Freeze said it is that he is now sympathetic towards obedience because they n- not still nursing the defeat from the last election. English, please. He said it expected... Wow. He said it is expected of people to be their brother's keeper, especially when they are down. He says, I'm sympathetic towards obedience because they are going through a lot. I understand that. You don't kick your mom when he's down. I know you people are really going through a lot, and that's why I sympathize with you. And I lend a hand of friendship. We don't need to fight one another. We love one another, but you can't come here and insult then expect me to give you opportunity to talk. I mean, as a decent human being, that's the bare minimum or at least what's expected from Daddy Freeze to say. I mean, you literally have a show. Um, But do not be confused about, you know, Daddy Freeze and this show. I I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily sense the, a genuine tone to this. I think it's just a basic respectful tone, to be honest. And it is fair on his show. Do not come and insult him and then tell him to give you a platform to speak and air your point. Um, with obedience going through a lot. I mean, I don't, I think it's okay to be disappointed that your principal didn't win. However, going through a lot in a sense of deep heartbreak, because I think everyone's making it seem like, oh, wow, obedience cannot breathe. And we are in such, like we are in Nigeria. And so things like this or outcomes like this are not unexpected. Yes, we can take action to, you know, arrive at a different outcome, However, the there's sort of a perception of some kind of deep heartbreak that obedience are going through. Don't get me wrong. I mean, everyone has seen the amount of effort that has been put into, you know, the campaign of Peter B, the young people rallying together and being with him. But, you know, more than just... And I think, you know what's funny? I think we just love to blame and we love to, you know someone wants to win and if you win in the short term and you don't win in the long term you didn't you haven't won because the problem that we have is bigger than just the presidential election peter b till one or that no it's, it's bigger than that it's for our future we are really in danger if a nigerian is not already selfish self-preservative hyper-independent enough take care of themselves in Nigeria, their plan is to at least relocate and relocate with every sense of urgency and aggressiveness and aggression because what we have basically just seen is that in an attempt to do the right thing or for Nigerians to basically, you know, get the Nigeria that they want, they've basically been proven once again that we are basically led by bullies Our system has failed yet again. I don't know how many times we need to... I personally think we need to scrap up the constitution and start from scratch because all we're doing is absolute nonsense. Um, And and that's the thing. Some people are looking at... And that's the danger. We're looking at it as just a battle. Obviously, I think that it frees... Obviously, his platform allows for people with different opinions to then come together, blah, 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 and have conversation. But I think it's a danger to just view all this as, oh, well, you see what's happened. I told you this person will win. Okay, now, Tinubu has won. What now happens? Whoever wins is going to be expected, or in a normal sense, expected to be president and do the right thing. With an election... Whoever wins, of course, there will be people who will have to adjust because who they voted for is not in office. That is clearly a reality, and we know that. However, in Nigeria's case, we are literally at the mercy of whoever is president. If the president decides to be a dictator, that's it. If the president decides to be good, which is something that I I believe is such a weak position and threatening position to stand on 
you know, to almost beg and hope that whoever is in office will just change their mind and at least just have mercy on us and do the right thing. That's just, it's, I, I don't know why we should ever think like that or think that is okay. It is not okay. So the problem is way bigger than Peter B. Peter B, yes, for the youth, you know, building that energy to put him in office, looked like oh he was going to come and save nigeria if he won it would still be a root shock because peter b isn't jesus and nigeria's problem is not that it's not for peter b by himself to solve nigeria needs to be scrapped and start started again i i i don't believe we can go anywhere from here because for a country to be where it is it takes more than just the government and of course those in power definitely have to be intentional about the society they're trying to build and the people they're trying to build. So yes, a huge responsibility lies on them. I'm not denying that, but it definitely takes more than the government to win. But the government as a starting point when they have access to resources and power, my dear, you have responsibility. So, you know, we would always look to the government because they basically own the power. And that is such a scary thing. And it's the illusion of trust that we have from you know, governance, the voting system, and elections. Because regardless, it is whoever that is presented to us that we would have to vote from. We really don't have a choice. Um, so this whole thing of heartbreak and be your brother's keeper, it is very small-minded to think of it in that way and think that it's a heartbreak. If, if you are heartbroken about Peter B, then do you really understand what Nigeria is going through? Because I think the heartbreak of Nigeria is even worse. And that is what everybody, in spite of whoever your presidential candidate, should be going through. The heartbreak of how failed Nigeria is, as it stated that it is, that's where the heartbreak lies, in my personal opinion. I don't think it's a, oh. And I think that's the thing, because we need to question ourselves as people. When we, we, we go for movements and we build up so much energy, it's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. But because we are united does not necessarily mean we have a solid plan and we are organized and we're strategic. It doesn't mean that. The fact that we build up energy that you can even feel it in the air, oh my God, oh my days, a new election, blah, blah, blah. That's how Nigerians are with every movement, to be very honest. And I think that's why this whole Peter Obi thing, you know, for a lot of people who didn't get what Peter Obi had, you know, it, it seemed very hurtful because Nigerians, when they really want to write for you, they will write for you. Look at Hodabasi. The same thing. People turned up, were eating, playing music. Look at answers. It just shows the kind of people that we are. We know how to build up energy. But when it comes to executing and planning and, you know, the test of how organized we are, that's where we fail. But when it comes to building energy, I don't think it's just a political thing. I think it really goes to show the kind of people we are. Look at the answers protest. It literally turned into a concert. And don't get me wrong, it is a movement. But that is how... We are as a people. It literally turned into a concert. People came to sing. People came to dance. People were sharing food. You know, it, it's literally a whole thing. So the heartbreak, or you sympathizing with obedience, I mean, come on. I think it's just a way to kind of also rub it in. It doesn't seem genuine. And that's not where, you know, the sympathy should lie. We should all be very like, you know, if anything, now to be his president, hold him to such high account because we should basically not expect anything less. And if Tinubu underperforms in the four, next four years, then what happens? We go through the same thing again. Aren't you tired? Poor, I think I don't forget to like and subscribe.